Ooh. I guess uh, that feature game show idea I had wasn't the greatest idea. Yeah, it turns out uh, um, I got a mess to clean up and I'm being sued uh, and I'm getting my hand of paperwork handed to me as we speak. So, yeah, big lawsuit. So, I guess um, I can dream about my violent game show idea. Or can I? Well, for those of you uh, that don't know, uh, there was a game um, out in uh, the arcades called uh, Smash TV. Well, I can. I'm gonna show you a clip of that and let you see what that's all about before we go on to my review. Now that we got that out of the way, uh, there's this new game on uh, the PlayStation Network called Cash Guns and Chaos, and uh, it plays homage to Smash TV. So those of you that like Smash TV will find this game really entertaining, like I do. Now, some may say, oh, this is a clone of uh, Smash TV. Well, it really is not so much a clone as um, a tribute, if you will. Um, for the most part, like Smash TV, um, you kill hordes and hordes of um, monsters or creatures as they come into the board, swarm and kill you. The difference between this uh, Smash TV and Cash Guns and Chaos is the fact that in order to leave a level, you have to net so much money in the game. So unlike um, Smash TV where you get a certain amount of people to kill and then you're out, this one is so much money. So they really um, want you to get greedy and try to go for the insane dollars so you can probably get out quicker, but at a greater cost. Um, so yeah, you pretty much will have free health. You'll walk in, you'll load, you'll lock and load and shoot everything that moves. And um, dodging gunfire from the other people and everything else. And meanwhile, trying to grab cash, uh, um, weapons, and uh, there's also these little guys walk with little billboards on them. You shoot one of them, they drop a card or they drop a, a letter. You pick up these things, they will help you increase your uh, winnings if you collect so many of them. So like for the word of the day, you'll have a word that'll come up that'll say greed. You spell greed, you get you get a bonus event will happen and you'll get a whole bunch of cash. Then the enemies will reappear and you have to kill them again. And, whereas the other one, you get a deck of cards. You get five cards, you get like it's like a poker hand. So if you get a poker hand, like a pair, or three of a kind, or whatever, you'll get money and rewarded based on that. So once you reach the net um, value worth of the level, you will then have to survive a little bit longer until a countdown appears. Once the countdown appears, you survive until the countdown appears and the level is over with. And then whatever cash is left piled on, you can go grab it and get more money. Um, <clears throat> the game continues throughout each level. Each level has a theme. The first one was a clown theme, and the second one was a um, kind of like a spoof on, um, I would say, uh, maybe gauntlets. You had wizards in there, you had mushrooms, and all. So <clears throat> each one of the <coughs> monsters seems to share identities to the Smash TV counterparts. Um, you have the exploding guy with a drum, but in this one he's a, uh, he's a strong man, he's got like weights and you can see him and then he, he lifts them up and stuff like that. If he wait too long he'll explode and his shrapnel will go all over the place. Um, you have these little Pac-Man like thingies, they resemble, the, they're kind of like the little chain of little uh, red things that went across the screen in the first one. And of course you have boss battles, but each season you have to survive a season. Unlike the Smash TV where 
you have a map to follow. It tells you where you go, which which exit's available, and you go there, and you get through that those levels, and you go to the next level. You have to survive a season of levels to fight the first boss. So there's really technically looks like there's only three bosses, but I'm only on season one, so I can't really be too sure. Um, but I really do like this game, and um, I really think that uh, for five bucks, it's definitely worth the pickup, especially if you're old school or like. The, the fan of Smash TV. However, it's a one-player game, so keep that in mind. It's a one-player game, but it does not deter from the fact it's still a lot of fun. So, yeah, that's my uh, what I feel on this game, and uh, I'll leave you with a clip from Cash Guns and Chaos, so you can be the judge for yourself if this is something you'd really like to pick up or not. Thanks.